All right, guys. Um, wow, just got done doing the AMA, which is Ask Me Anything in the Advice Community. That was like a local SEO masterclass, I, I gotta say. Probably more value than most local SEO courses. Um, but anyways, today I'm gonna update you on how I think the Fiverr gig actually worked for my public case study movement room. Um, yeah, if you guys have been following along, here is a progress update. I included everything into like, like for example, what I, which gigs I use, what I purchased, um, timeline, so on and so forth. Similar to my C secret HVAC um, case study, but I used a lot less gigs because it's this is a lot less competitive and uh, seems to be working. So you guys check it out, keep watching, comment local SEO or actually, yeah, comment local SEO for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate that. Thank you. Here you go. By the way, wearing the Sweet Advice t-shirt today. Team EBITDA, you know how it is. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Apologies for the comically large water bottle. All right, so yesterday we did a well, huge drop, minus 500. 3.2K, well, 3.3, 3. we're gonna round up today because it's just getting out hard out here. Um, Amazon at 2K, roughly. Media Vine at 121. Fan Fuel and Cell Health at $8. Why am I even reporting this? OnlyFans at 1.1K. Um, pretty bad day. Uh, I found out the issues with Media Vine. I've, yeah, we're actually transitioning to uh, Ad Thrive or Raptive. We'll keep you guys posted about that. But um, forgot that there was a 30 day notice. So we gotta, we gotta switch back and start our notice period. Now, um, let's take a look at the granular numbers. All right, 37.4K in total re ordered revenue yesterday. Um, down slightly from the day before. Not too bad though, we'll take that. And uh, Levanta yesterday coming in nicely. It's still doing a hundred bucks a day. I'm like, well, fucking take that all day every day and on sundays um that's it let's talk about the episode today all right guys you're gonna want to sign up for the first link in the description today trust me um because it's just a bunch of links uh what you get is you get sent this a notion document um today is april 4th so go to the april 4th episode episode 146 title is i paid five or 60 bucks for local seo and it worked quote um, so here are the service I use, um, citations for $5 for f $5 for 50. Do not pay more. Here's the link. Kevin's PBN to tier the citations plus map embed plus a uh, business schema. So unlinked mention. So what it'll have is like movement room address, phone number, email domain. That's it. All right. Don't do not link to the direct domain. Uh, if you want to see an example, watch the previous video. I included it here. Don't come after me for making references with unlinked. All right. Number three, on March 25th, I purchased this gig off legit. Guys, remember when I was bashing it? Did it work? I don't know if it worked. I don't know. Did it work? You guys tell me. Uh, it, th there's too many factors, right? So I don't know if it worked. I don't want to say it worked. It hurts me. This fucking weird ass circle thing might have worked. I don't know. Maybe it was the citations finally hitting index. Maybe it was the tiered PBNs. Maybe it's the movement room getting a fuck ton of five star reviews plus posting daily on Google My Business. I don't know. Um, but here are the rankings, guys. Crazy, all right? So rankings as of March 23rd. Like, it was already going up, okay? Stuff was already going up, as you can see here. Like, before it was like 20 plus, 20 plus, 20 plus everywhere. So it was going up. So it was in the right direction before. So this is for Physio East Vancouver. This is the keyword for... Uh, this is Physiotherapy East Vancouver. 
All right, now let's take a look at today or yesterday. Look at this. I know it's a smaller, it's like a smaller thing, uh, but it's not that much smaller. All right, uh, I think it's just less spread out. So if you guys know the area, you'll 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 know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's so you can see it's nine by nine. Before it was thirteen by thirteen, sixty square miles. I think this is like. 24 square miles. It's fine. It's fine. But anyways, the, the, the point is to look at the rankings. A lot of ones, twos, and threes, and a fuck ton of ones, twos, and threes here as well. So this is Physio East Vancouver. Average rank is eight. Average rank, rank of Physio East Vancouver is 10. So did it work? I don't know. Um, maybe I can mash two points on. So the garden should be right here. Van Dusen Gardens is 20. And right here, yeah, QE Park should be here, 20. Yeah, it's 11, so it's definitely going up, guys. Um, so the three things I've done here are, once again, citations, Kevin's PBMs for tiering, and uh, this legit gig. Remember to note, there's a lot of other things going on. This is an active business. This is like people are searching direction to movement room every day because they have a lot of clients, but they're getting way fucking more. My buddy's telling me it's it's blasting off, apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, so what we're doing is working. You can't say for sure which one of the three is working, but it's cheap enough cheap enough to do all three. Let's check the price roughly. So we did 200 citations for roughly, let's just say 20 bucks. Kevin's PBN 30, 50, so 50 total right now. And this gig I've spent 60, so it's 110, $110 for rankings like this. We'll take it. But I will also keep tracking. If it keeps trending in the right direction, I'll keep you guys posted as well. And Movement Room hit like number two or three on um, organics as well. It's crazy out here. So, yeah, um, if you guys want to follow along my HVAC journey, it's literally looking the same as this. Same steps. I added, I'm added. i adding a new gig today that was delivered. But, uh, yeah, it worked really well. So, yeah, I highly recommend joining the advisor community. Um, seven members until the next price hike. I'm not making this up. We're at 297 members um, or 293 and at 300, we're jacking up the price by $10 a month. Plus, we're gonna, um, we only have 50 members until we close registration, like indefinitely, until someone churns. So every time someone churns, we're gonna obviously let it in someone else. But uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. And that's it, let's answer some questions. All right, all right, all right. Um, definitely this channel is not dying, thanks for your advice. It's, been, it's helping me build my business with new ideas. Thank you, appreciate it. Reach out if you need help building muscles. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, almost bust from my first dollar online. It's crazy feeling, man, having new clients come to our business purely from organic traffic. Yeah, let's fucking go. Parth, do you have like multiple YouTubes or some shit? Your username's never the same. Google reviews, thank you guys. What? Uh, but what if I'm not a business location and the business owners only want to collect reviews for themselves? What do I do? Can I not buy reviews? I know they deliver great results. <clears throat> um, if you're doing a rank and rent, what I do is, do you have a location? If you do, then I highly recommend just getting friends to do it. Especially if you're targeting a town that you grew up in. Easy. Fellow Canadian jumped into the advice community. I appreciate how direct you are since building in public day one. People don't listen even when you show them step by step exactly what you do. Sheesh. It's true. Tiffany, what's going on? Um, can you make a video on manual outreach for guest posts? I think I did that, no? Like it's a building your own backlink series. Would love an SOP to head off to a VA. I think if you want a scraper, so there's obviously, there's two, there's a couple ways, right? You, you need a list and you need their emails. So if you have a list, you can scrape their emails easy and then you just blast them, done, right? But um, if you need a list, then you just need a list of like guest post sites. How do you do that? You can farm link building agencies. You could probably also 
buy a list. You could use something like, oh, fuck, I forgot. Pitchbox or something like that. Pitchbox scrapes as well. So try that. Keep it up, Jackie. How much content would you recommend on month one of a new e comm site? <laughs> Tiffany's definitely building a new e comm business. Um, month one, probably just focus on getting your foundational links done. Um, blog posts, probably just do like five to 10 first month. Passively watching my guy, and I'm thinking of doing some build in public too. Thanks to you watching your content. Let's go. Quick tip, unless the creatine was just hard as hell, if you flip over the container, give it a little shake. Oh, okay, yeah, that works. Oh, I read this this morning. Appreciate it, Copy Samurai, as always. Finger blasting creatine for the algo. Let's fucking go. Make them click. <laughs> I'm ranking seventh in maps. Entertainment niche competitors have big DR70 links. Huntington Post, et cetera. Can I compete in maps using tactics in the HVAC case study? Yes, easily. <clears throat> These uh, links don't mean jack shit, you know? These DR70 links don't, well, they mean something, but local, what I've seen is it's all like these tactics I've been using. Guys, local is so fucking easy. It's it's incredible. Like, <laughs> it's a wild west out here. Uh, have a content, I prefer, I, but I'd prefer better quality in-depth videos once or twice a week instead of rushed daily videos. You're probably right. And, um... I appreciate your honesty and uh, I'll see what I can do. All right. I'm, guys, I'm traveling right now. All right. I, I'm back in Vancouver um, in fucking two weeks and I'll be fine. Guys. Oh, right. I have my hearing today and uh, yeah, hopefully my tenant will leave. Um, so pretty much I tried to evict my tenant because Janice and I want to move in, right? Because we're moving back to Vancouver and uh she thinks that we're kicking her out to jack up the rent, but we're actually kicking her out to live in it. So she escalated to hearing. So I'm in hearing at 1 a.m. in Saigon. Pretty fucking savage. But uh, I don't know why I'm telling you guys, but fuck it, whatever. Um, Janice isn't here right now, so I have no one to talk to. You. When getting niche us, do you use keyword anchors? Do you do them with brand URL anchors? What's the ratio between those? Um... <coughs> I've done a video on the anchors, Valak. Uh, just Google picking your anchors indexy. Dude, it's not dying. It's crazy good info. Try and figure out how to get p- Google reviews on new record. I'm having a hard time. Just grow it. Keep pushing. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Um, that's all the time I have for today, guys. Appreciate your comments. Hit me up with more questions. All right, let's chat, guys. Um, but I think once... I mean, we're like fucking nearly half a half a year in, right? So it's normal to have repeating questions. So I'm, I don't get too upset no more. But um, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.